Hey, what's going on, fellow currency lovers? I sold off another random item that I have, which is uh, one of the few trailers, uh, but that's neither here nor there. I have about, well, it should be 1500 bucks if I counted it right earlier when I picked it up. Man, that shifting strip there looks sweet in the camera. But anyway, let's look through uh, 15, if I can do math right, 15. $100 notes, see if anything's worth more than face value or if it is collectible. So all of them seem to be pretty good condition, just kind of checking them out from the sides and stuff. He did hand them to me in a bank envelope, so hopefully the bank didn't, or his bank, didn't give uh, too crappy a notes. What's going on here? Got a little kind of stray ink action. A couple dots there, really minor. Something to keep an eye out for. You have so much of this green ink that's used uh, for the beautiful depiction of the Independence Hall on the back of the $100 note. So sometimes there's a little stray ink. But if it's dramatic enough, you can get a lot of money over face value. Eh, a little bit of sixes, a little bit of threes in the old serial number, but nothing collectible. A little bit of damage here. Don't get confused with that. At first glance, I thought maybe, ooh... That's a misprint, but it's one, you can see the shadow of the uh, shifting seal right there. Or not seal, but a strip right here, the anti-counterfeiting strip. Uh, kind of poking through here. Plus there's a little bit of uh, damage to the note, so it makes it look like a misprint. Eh, a little bit of extra ink on that J there. You can see it without me really holding it too close. Nothing on the front of that bad boy though. Nice, clean $100 note. Little bit of dots there on there, so... But could just be that serial number peeking through. Now, if you can read them all the way through the note, uh, I see those sell for a few bucks over face value. Now, I haven't seen a $100 note sell, so let me know in the comments if you've seen those sell before and what they sold for. Uh, 2013 series. I like to look for shifts in the seals, although on $100 notes, it seems like quality assurance is a little, little higher in regards to how quality they come out of the BEP. And nothing really there. 2017 A-Series, really large run. You can look up uh, run sizes, how many notes were printed and stuff like that. Uh, as well as the production of star notes in those series for various denominations on a couple different websites to include my own, varietyairs.com or mycurrencycollection.com, which is not my site, but has been around for 15 years or so and is a really good one to look at. Uh, other than like, where's George? Where you can kind of get more of like, where's this bill been? This one's been folded up. You can see that's why it's deteriorated a little worse in some portions. Uh, the folds and stuff. And nothing going on. Let's take a look at the front again. Uh, good repetition of nines. In general on notes, though, if I don't have them in a clump or a repeater, uh, block repeater, uh, various types of repeaters, uh, where it's going to be all the nines in a row or it's a pattern, I wouldn't consider just a few nines in the serial number as collectible. Uh, over inked zero. I was going to say O for some reason, maybe because it was over ink, double O's there. But anyway, a little bit of an over ink on that zero in the middle. You can see how it's kind of funky in the print. Now, if it was real dramatic or it was almost filled in, that would be an error. But in this case, it's, it's not too bad. And yeah, nothing there. One, two, three, couple fours, couple threes, couple twos. But... You know, when it comes to uh, multi-digit serial numbers, as far as a, a collectible aspect, unless it, it, I might collect a trinary note being three digits if it's in order like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, then I'd be into that. But just having kind of a hodgepodge of numbers is, is not going to do anything for you, at least in my opinion. Uh, nothing there. 2009A, a little bit smaller than 2017A. This just looks like part of a counter stamp. When they receive the notes and straps, they stamp them. So that's what that seems like there. I don't know about this guy. Looks like maybe just some good old damage or a booger or something. So a little freebie for us. Hmm, I can already see a kind of stamp sticking out. 
cool. I love me some stamps. I don't even care if they're collectible, but this one's extra cool. Okay. Oh, there's a couple of them. Look at that. Wonder what those are. Have you seen this stamp before? I don't know what that is. It looks almost like Arabic. I know it sounds odd, but I mean, let's get as close as we like. Look at that. Little dollar sign. Must be a bank stamp or maybe a business that deals in a lot of larger denomination notes. So they felt a need to, to stamp it, but that's really cool. I'm, I'm interested. I want to know what that stamp is. I'll set it aside, although it's not crazy collectible. And it looks like here is another one, but not for... I've seen this one before. I don't remember what this was. Somebody commented, one of you guys commented uh, what this stamp was and had seen it before. So if you're watching again, let me know. But that's really cool. I love stamps on notes. I just wonder what the heck is it, you know? So I'm going to look them up. I'm going to set those aside, even though I'm not saying they're worth a bunch of money over face value, but I am now intrigued. Back to the old norm. Nothing on this one. Nothing in the serial number. Nothing jumping out as far as print. Had an adventure with you folks. I'm hoping that you guys have better luck than I have over the last couple of bill searches. But you know me. I hold on to star notes even... Oh my gosh, here's another stamp. K and L. K and L. Huh. Well, if you've seen this one too, we got stamps galore in these, man. I don't know what's going on. I normally don't see this many reception or counter stamps on notes, but these are getting more common, I suppose. Really, people just marking them, and I guess maybe they got these from one person at the bank or something that had a whole bunch of stamp notes, collects them like I do. But that's neat, though. I'm going to set aside this one, too. I don't think it's worth more than a hundred bucks, but I am intrigued as to what the actual meaning behind the stamp is, or is it just... A bank stamp, you know? 2017 A. I'm like knocking all my stuff around. Sorry about that. Eh, nothing in the serial number. Eh, probably the best condition one in this bill search. And then we got a folded up one below it. And nothing really jumping out on back. Last but not least, let's try to fix this corner a little bit. Looks prettier when I go to spend it on bills. <laughs> That's how money goes, right? In one hand, out the other. And nothing jumping out on the front. Series 2017A. Let me fold it up a little more than it was. Another little folded corner. Be nice if we had a fold over error, right? $100 bill fold over error would be worth a couple thousand. Nothing on the back there, but hey, can't complain about 1500 bucks still in my hand. What am I holding on to? Some of you folks might be like, eh, that's not collectible. Hey, it is what it is. I kind of collect all the odd stuff, but I'm more just, I've never seen these bank or counter stamps before. I am intrigued, this one especially. So I'm going to try to figure out what they are. If you have seen them, let me know in the comments what they are and save me some research time. Mainly, though, let me know what you've come across in your coin and bill searches lately in the comments. I love reading about what your favorite coins and banknotes are, what you've come across. Hopefully, you have more luck going for you in your coin and banknote searches over the next week. I will see you guys in the comments. Good luck on your coin roll hunts and your banknote searches, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.